Hello and welcome. My name is Logan, aka Coding Doctor 101. In today's Fill Your Rhythm tutorial, I will be showing you how to use the for loop and arrays. Now, how to find the for loop? You click on your black line, and under looping, you hit it for. And when you double click on it, you'll get something like this to pop up, and you'll have variable, start value, end value, direction, step by. Now, for variable, you'll just type in what variable you want to go off of, which is usually like a counter or something. So imagine counter here, your start value would be wherever you want to start at, usually zero, and the end value of where you want to end at. But computers count at by starting at zero. So if you wanted to end at with three spots in it, you would go zero, one, two. And then you can choose if it increases or decreases and by how much. So, in today's video, we will be, we're going to try and make an array program that will use the for loop and the arrays, of course, to select the highest number and the lowest number from an array. So, first, we're going to come in here and we'll do a declare, and we're just going to declare this, um, high number, and we'll do an integer, and we'll hit OK, and then we'll do a declare, and we're going to call it low number, and hit OK, we'll leave both of those as integers. We will also need a counter, so declare counter, let's see, what else do we need? We will need the arrays, of course. So we're just going to do declare. We're going to leave it as an enter. We're going to call this numbers. And then we'll hit array. For the array size, we want it to be 5. But how we're going to do that is going to be a little different. So right before numbers, we're going to do a declare. And we'll call it max array size and the reason I'm capitalizing this in such a way is so that we know oh, that this is going to be the max array size this is a value that should not change in the entire program and then we'll go do an assign and we'll do max array size equals 5 and I'm just going to come and copy that way when I go in here, click Array, and hit OK. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, let's see, we also need user number, so we'll also do a declare, and we'll do user number. We'll hit OK. And now we should be ready to go. So we're going to do a while loop real fast. And we're going to do while counter is less than max array size. We'll hit OK. And we will do assign numbers counter equals zero. We'll hit OK. And then we'll do assign counter equals counter plus one. We'll hit OK. So what this does, this populates the array. So while counter is less than ma the max array size, which is how many we have in the array, it goes numbers. And the reason it looks like this, so it goes numbers and when counter is, if counter is zero, it goes in the zero spot of the array. 
So an, ar an array is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that would give you your five spots. So th all this is doing is just populating that for you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do an output. And we're going to say enter a positive integer comma or enter a or enter zero to stop. My bad. So what we'll output and now we're gonna get user number so we'll do an input here. I want to do user number. I'll hit OK. And we're going to set counter equal to 0. So counter equals 0. Now, let's see what we need to do. Alright, so now we're going to do another while loop. Let me scroll down a little bit. So we'll do another while loop. Scroll down again. And while this is user number is greater than zero and the counter is less than max array size I'm going to hit OK so while this is true we're going to fill in the first the slot so we'll go come in here and I'm going to paste this but instead of 0 it will be um, user number we'll hit OK And then we're going to copy this and paste. We'll copy this again and we'll, we'll paste it in as well. Now we're going to find the high number. And this is where our for statement comes in. So we're going to do for. But first we got a reset counter. So we're going to take our, this up here. I'll just paste it down here. And we'll do for counter start value 0. And we are going to do 2. Let's see. Max array size and messed up I'm sorry and we're gonna do minus one and the reason why is because our max array size is five but if you remember we just start at start counting at zero so if you go zero one two three four you'll be at five well, I'm only gonna hit okay and now we're gonna do an if statement so inside this if statement if numbers and we'll do brackets and inside we're going to say counter is bad, is greater than highest number or I let's see what we call ours high number my bad high number we're going to do an assign where high number equals the numbers counter and just you know just double check my spelling and everything numbers for the array yep everything looks to be good
and now all we should have to do you now is let's see high number the number counter all right so first issue we're gonna have automatically is we didn't declare anything in the beginning which is my fault so we gotta come back in and declare all of this so sign high number equals zero and let's go do a cheeky copy and paste copy and paste and low number equals zero we'll hit ok So, now we're going to come in and we should see, so here's this for loop and now this is when we are going to, we're going to do an assign real fast. I want to do load number equals numbers and we'll do Zero, the zero position. And we're gonna hit OK. We're basically gonna copy this and paste this in. And we're gonna change this to number counter is less than high number. And where numbers counter does not equal zero. And then instead of high number here, it will be low number. And then we're going to output the low number. And we will do another output for the high number. And we'll hit OK. And let's see how this goes. So let's enter a positive integer or zero to stop. So we'll do 8, 9, 14, 2, and 68. We'll hit OK. And we'll do 0. And I misspelled something, so we have an error. So, max array size should only have one. Alright, and let's try this again. So, enter a positive number. We'll do seven. Eight, and we'll do 75 and we'll enter 0 max array size was not declared so let's see if I misspelled something here so I worked on this one so we are come in, we'll just do copy, paste, we hit OK. Let's, let's try this again real fast. So 4, 5, 0, max array size was not declared, and it's here this time, so control V, space, space. Alright, now let's do, so we will, we will do 58, 41, 22 and 0. And our small number is 22 and 58 because we gotta remember we made it where it does not include 0. So let's run this again real fast and we'll do 99, 57, 23, 9, 4, 1.
And the reason we get this is because... What's that? I'll show you. Here is. Let me scroll here. Because counter is less than max array size. So when they're equal to each other, it doesn't matter. But when it's one less than... So when counter is 4 and the max array size is 5, it will keep going. And it'll bump it up to 5 automatically. And it, and it will... And that is what causes that issue. But 1 is not even taken into consideration. So to make that not show up, if we come in here and do minus 1, we should get the proper amount. So let's try this real fast. And we'll do 88, 75, 92, and 11. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, and this should be our last one. And we'll do 83. If we enter 21, what happens? So we still got asked 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. And the reason for that is because I put this in the wrong place. It goes here. Minus one because we want this to go four times through the loop because we asked once already let's try this again hopefully it works better 78 86 23 11 that's number four so five and we'll do same what do you say to five 11 and 86 which is our high and low number or low and high number i mean my bad and that works pretty well I've had a couple of people ask me uh, for help in troubleshooting, and what I would recommend for troubleshooting is, if you look by this main, for uh, by the functions area, you'll see a little play button with a little bar underneath it, and that's called run speed. I recommend running through the program on slow. It can be a little time consuming, yes, but you watch you and you'll see everything. Another thing I also recommend is using the watch variable window. That way you can see what your variable data is. So let me open it real fast. So I can see my entire array here. The, user, the last user number, the max array size, the counter, the low number, and the high number. And then when you run through it, all these will be blank and fill in over time throughout the program, which can make troubleshooting a really easy thing to do. That's all I have for you this time. I hope to see you next time. Thanks and goodbye.